All right, ladies and gents, the time has come. I have got myself a small network rack and we're gonna be installing it right here on the wall. And uh, my servers obviously uh, are destined for the shed server room in the future. But um, the idea is we're gonna keep the uh, router in here as well as my new main switch, which is right here. It's been hooked up for a few days now just to make sure everything's working as, as expected and it is. Um, I've gone and labeled my stuff a little bit better so that the uh, transition won't be very chaotic. And now uh, without further ado, let's look at this rack. So this was actually uh, being thrown out and I managed to scavenge it. Um, it's actually a very solid uh, build. So this is the style, it's a wall mount. Um, so the front opens obviously, and also it has the added ability for the rear, well actually the whole cabinet swings forward. So that will be super flexible if I need to make any uh, adjustments in the future. Um, here, I'll put it on its side. It's a bit heavy, but you can see there. So there's your front hinges for the front door and then the rear hinges for the entire front half. Um, one thing that I did see as a problem, obviously um, I don't want to redo my patch bay. So I've gone and cut a hole in the back. I uh, admit that it uh, is a little bit sloppy, but that is no problem because uh, hopefully no one will see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape up, um, put a thick layer of tape on the edge so that uh, there's no slicing of any of the cables. And uh, hopefully the entire patch bay will basically go in and um, go in sideways and then I'll be able to mount it on the front. Because obviously, um, if we look over here, this I do not wanna redo because that represents hours of work. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's gonna move this bad boy out of the way here so we can see what we're working with. Oh, it's so heavy. Okay, so when you see this, this bolt here, it's a bit of a problem. So what I'm thinking about doing, I've got a couple pieces of wood here I found outside. Um, these are probably the winners here. I'm just gonna mount them like this that deals with the bolt and creates a decent spacer. Now, I'm just going to mount these guys and see how this looks. I probably should drill holes with this wood, but I'm super impatient. So let's hope it doesn't split. There we go, nice and solid. So I'm gonna bring the rack back now. Okay. God, that's got some weight to it. Okay. In retrospect, I may have put these spacers a bit high, but that's okay. There's a big space right here that does have no wood, so I think we need to rectify that before I mount this sucker. Okay, long story short, I've decided to stick with these because I can't find any more wood of the appropriate size. I'm just gonna move them down. Okay, success. Do you think these will hold it? I'm sure hoping so. So we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna stick these in. And then we're also gonna add a couple uh, 
long uh, screws with washers just to, uh, I don't know, add extra safety, although I'm sure these will uh, handle it if they can handle a TV wall mount. Torque mode. Just gonna make sure this is lined up where I want it. Looks pretty good. Apparently it's the wrong socket size. I'm back. Got the correct size socket. 9 sixteenths. Should have went with that in the first place. Uh, it started full. Holy shite. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video. I gotta get the camera out of the way because I can't uh, get enough leverage in this position or maybe I can go like this. Man, what did I hit? back with an update. So I've got the two bolts in here and here. This is level now, but I was a little bit unhappy with this part. And, um, and by that, I mean like the movement I was, my wishful thinking was that this actually would be stable enough with just these two mounting locate or mounting bolts, but it's not. So we've got a couple long screws and I just cut a two by four there. You can see it kind of, uh, sticking uh, there behind on this side. And uh, yes, I know it's a little bit uh, not level at the moment, but we're gonna fix that in a minute. Um, let's see, yeah, let's use this guy. I'm gonna see if I can use some of this weather stripping I've got here on the bottom and then I'm gonna tape over it. So. This is like your typical stuff for a door. And um, basically I'm gonna put it along the seam and then I'm gonna put a layer of tape on it. So that should hopefully give, and it's even sticky, so that's even better. I'm hoping that it gives me a little bit more protection. she is. Let's see how it closes and how it sits here. That's pretty good. We're going to bring this around like this and then hopefully my hole's big enough to get this to fully come in without putting too much pressure on anything. And there you go. So my intention is to leave enough cable here so that this whole door can be opened and closed. You can see that not all of my cables are the same length, but that's okay. Let's see what this looks like in here. Okay, perfect. So this is gonna go right on top, I think. Um, I'm just thinking I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna recess or before I mount anything, I'm going to uh, adjust the position that the rails are in.
So this is my thought. Boom. Yeah, I like it. There's going to be uh, potential cooling issues, so I'll have to look at that. But, um, I mean, at the same time, this is a network rack, so it's not really using the typical front-to-back air ventilation. Um, I like this better because I'd rather have access to my connections right on the front. So I'm going to fire this stuff up because it's pretty much time to get the internet back going here. I can't believe how quiet this rig is. It's like nothing. I cannot wait to get this server into my new server room because this thing is just a monster. Plus I've got this, which is going to be probably my free NAS server, which I'm building um, for video editing. Um, so that'll also be kind of loud, I'd imagine. Okay, so that definitely cleaned it up a lot. Um, basically all there is left is to redo all these uh, Sharpie labels with actual label maker labels now that I've got uh, working label maker again. And um, that pretty much concludes the uh, basement rack. In the future I do actually, uh, I ordered keystones for um, the uh, SC and LC fiber for my um, uplink from my router. Um, or actually not so not uh, not the router but um, to go from uh, this switch to other switches so that it can be in the patch panel there um, and as well as the one that comes from my internet service provider from the uh, pole so that it actually is patchable as well not that I would ever need to patch it with anything but um, yeah if you uh, enjoyed this video please like and sub subscribe and uh, keep an eye out for the uh, shed server room video because um, you may have noticed that uh, there's been a bit of a gap. The rest of this was shot like, I don't know, a month ago. And then I just finished this up. So in that last month, I've actually made some major progress on the shed server room. Here's a sneak peek. Um, but anyways, my servers are actually in there right now, which is uh, great, but it's kind of Mickey Mouse still. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, like and subscribe and uh, hopefully I can get you that uh, video soon.